Hi guys, thank you so much for all your comments and all your involvement in the past few videos. So here we are, let's get straight into it, vitamin C. Vitamin C is the world's most naturally occurring vitamin. It is there in fruits and vegetables and it is a very important source of respiratory immunity. I know there are studies which say that vitamin C does not help with COVID-19 infections or in respiratory infections in general. But let me tell you, vitamin C is great to boost our immunity in general. Vitamin C increases the lifespan of our WBC. So what are WBC? WBC are our white blood cells or our soldier cells. So the soldier cells are divided into two types. One is the immediate soldier cell which goes and attacks whatever enters our body without thinking twice. It is a non-specific soldier cell. Its job is to go destroy the microorganism and then in the process destroy itself. It's a suicide cell. These are commonly called as neutrophils. Now these neutrophils, their lifespan is prolonged when you take vitamin C, which means they can kill more bacteria before they commit suicide and that immediately boosts our first line of defense. Secondly, vitamin C is an antioxidant. So what is an antioxidant? To put it simply, Antioxidants are substances which are there in our body and in our blood which actually clean up the debris and the mess which is left behind after our WBCs or soldier cells kill the microorganisms which come. These byproducts actually play a very important role in aging and vitamin C reduces the amount of these free radicals and that's why it is called as an antioxidant. 3. Vitamin C plays a very important role in synthesis of collagen. So what does collagen do? Collagen is important for the integrity of our skin, our mucosa, our hair. Everything which lines our respiratory tract and which covers our body. Without collagen, the integrity of our skin and mucosa will be lost, making us susceptible to respiratory infections. 4. Deficiency of vitamin C creates a condition called scurvy, which means we have weak joints, weak bones, weak soft tissue, weak skin, our mucosa inside the mouth and inside our nose doesn't regenerate. Apart from that, we have weak gums, our teeth fall. So guys, basically vitamin C is good to take and good to have because without it, we will have a lot of issues. Now coming to sources, oranges, lemons, lime, anything which is citric or sour has a lot of vitamin D. Vegetables like broccoli, sauerkraut, they have a lot of vitamin C. Peppers, every kind of pepper has vitamin C. Apart from this, vitamin C is there in every bright colored fruit and vegetable. So making it easy for us to naturally get vitamin C. Coming to daily requirements and dosage, I can positively say that vitamin C can be got completely through natural sources. Two oranges and 100 grams of broccoli every day should be enough for your regular vitamin C requirement. I'm not saying just have this, but I'm just saying that this quantity is more than enough for your regular supply of vitamin C. And there are three important points about vitamin C which I want to bring to your notice. One, vitamin C is a water soluble vitamin. So what that means is how much ever you take, your body can process and absorb only 500 mg per day. So orally, please do not take more than 500 mg per day Otherwise, everything you take will just go out in your urine. Vitamin C plays a very important role in helping regeneration and redirection of cilia in smokers and in cities where the pollution is really, really high. I have made a small video about what cilia is and what the job of the respiratory mucosa is in our immunity. Please check that out to know what cilia is. And the third point which is extremely important about vitamin C is when vitamin C is absorbed from natural sources like fruits or vegetables, it's actually a complex. It's a complex which has something called vitamin P, which is the anti-pneumonia vitamin and other flavonoids and vitamin K, which help in maintenance of the walls of our blood vessels. 
So vitamin C taken in natural form is much better than the artificial form which is just ascorbic acid which is made from artificial sources. So if you have to take a vitamin supplement check out what the composition is. If it is only ascorbic acid then it is better that you avoid it and choose a supplement which has all the natural components of vitamin C in the tablet to make it more effective for you. Before I summarize a last tip, if you're going to take vitamin C through vegetable sources, don't boil it because as vitamin C is water soluble, boiling dissolves the vitamin. Better to steam it or microwave it and vitamin C stays as it is then. So it is really not important if vitamin C helps with the COVID-19 infection or not. Vitamin C plays a very important role in maintaining equilibrium of our barrier immunity and so Please start taking vitamin C naturally through fruits and vegetables to boost and enhance your immunity. Thank you for listening. Press like if this video was useful to you and subscribe to my channel to get more information easily. See you guys. Be safe. Be home. Be well. Dr. Santosh. Bye-bye.